today we went to an estate sale and we bought this little one and a half horse three gallon compressor you could kind of call it an estate sale it was really a guy trying to have a high-end garage sale so he had this out there and we asked him why it was so cheap because if you look at the tag it says air compressor frozen ten dollars he said it froze up on him and he tried to fix it by taking it apart he couldn't get it back together so he just decided that he was either going to have to pay somebody to do it or forget it he was going to go buy another one well we bought it for ten dollars and we're going to see if we can fix it I don't know if we can or not but we'll see but as you can see this is everything I got I think it was pretty good for ten dollars though all right I'm going to show you the other side of it all right so here's the side of it and this is where he tried to work on it here I don't know if you can see down in there but we got that going on this is kind of loose here screws have been half taken out got a cord though mm -hmm. oh this seems to be pretty good here All right, and there we go, and there's the numbers on it. All right, so the first order of business is take off the plastic housing. Did it sound like it was water in it to you? I think it was the tag moving. Oh. Or this. We need a dish, don't we? Oops. Just put that anywhere. Alright, hang on. Alright. Now we got something to put screws in. Yeah, this will be sped up in the magic of editing. <laughs> okay, so somehow this has to come off, and I'm not sure how. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Won't that over there come out? The black thing over there, won't that come out? There you go. Now do it. Hey, there, there you go. Look at that. All right. Okay, to rock fight. So now we got rusty metal stuff. Are you putting that on? Because yes. we didn't need to take it off? Yes. Okay, just checking. Alright. So we're trying to get this lock ring out. Come on, focus, camera. Did you get it? Alright. It was totally out of focus, but so yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but he's definitely been in here before we have. 
see if I can get this thing to focus. If you look right here, you can see a gap between the plastic fan and that flat part. And if you look on the side over here, you can see another little gap over here. Yeah, come on, focus, camera. So, he spun this and then didn't put it back where it was supposed to be. So there's a flat part here that should be on that shaft. Whoops. There's a flat part here that should be on that shaft right there. And it's not. Okay, so we turn the fan to where the flat part is in the correct location. So now the fan should come right off. Should just come right off. All right, there we go. Probably need to clean that up some, huh? Mm -hmm. We'll have to work on that. Zoom bottle. Zoom, zoom. All right. We know there's not any oil in here. Otherwise, it'd have drained all out or spilled all out. So let's see what's going on. That's okay. I'll get that. This whole trying to work with a camera is not very. <laughs> <laughs> it's not conducive to working on items. Yeah. Is that what you're trying to say? I can't see the screws I'm pulling. All right. <laughs> yeah, but they can see perfectly. <laughs> Why would somebody can? It's just the last few threads that get you. Yep. All right. All right, look in there. Let's say that's pretty dry. That is. Wow. He said he drained the oil. Okay. Looks like he vacuumed, too. I was going to say. <laughs> okay, you could eat off of that. <laughs> wow. Holy that mackerel. That looks broke, though. That's a good thing. No, nothing does look broke. Just. It's probably totally seized because there's no oil in it. <laughs> he said he drained it. <laughs> Did he use degreaser? <laughs> wow. What does this look like from the top here? Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, so. Look at that. Yeah, just to look good. Look yeah. a little rusty around the edges. A little rusty around the edges. I'm thinking we need a zoom bottle of oil is what we need right there. Look, even the, you know what? It even looks rusty inside the cylinder. The only problem is that we don't have a home. I can't see anything, so I don't know if I'm gripping any oil or not. Here, use the, use the camera. <laughs> I guess we don't <laughs> Yeah, keep going. No, you're not. Because look, you got nothing but air. <laughs> Hold the bottle upside down. <laughs> there you go. All right. I was trying to squeeze it, but tell me when I get some goo coming out. There you go. Now you got it. All right. Get some around there. That's good. All right. Okay. Let's see. All right. Let's take a look at that. Let's see. See if any of that wants to filter down. Actually. There's nothing dripping right now, I can tell you it's that. It looks like we're going out of order and just jumping from thing to thing. But I wanted to do that so you could see stuff moving when I crank on the shaft over here we just took the fan off of. Yeah? You think it's going to move? <laughs> I got 10 bucks says it won't. <laughs> Ye of little faith. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm going to start turning. 
Are we turning? Oh, we are turning. Man, that. I would have lost that 10 bucks. Look at that. It's a little tight. A little? Now let's look up here. All right. Although oh, it's still up here, though. It's all right. Does it feel like it's moving any easier? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm fixing it. Spinning all the way around here in a minute. Look at that. Look. That stuff's already eating all the rust. Look. The rust is already starting to... Oh, yeah? Yeah. Cool. All right. So I am going to adjust. Can you get all the way to top dead center? Should be able to. It's especially rusty up here. Yep. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, it seems like a common problem with these is that the piston just gets seized up. The rust probably from condensation building up when it's compressing air or whatever. I don't know. Maybe it's rusting inside there and seizing it up. Lots of people have this problem. Take the fan off. Give it a few cranks. So I'd be willing to bet that probably solved the original problem. Now we got to solve the problem of the owner fixing it. <laughs> yeah, right. It's moving nice now, isn't it? Oh, oh look at that. Yeah, I'm watching it, not watching the camera. I'm not getting a good shot. Well, it's doing pretty good. It's top dead center. Let me clean that. Google. Well, nothing came through. That yeah. kind of bugs me. That's all right. It's on the side of the walls. You might not be able to see it, but it's there. I'm going to squirt a little on top of that cylinder edge. Upside down. That helps. A little bit. Oh, look at that. There we go. Let that sit for a minute. It's not filming yet. Okay. Alright, so we're going to put a little of this rust seize, anti seize. What's it called? Rust. 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 Buster, rust, rusties, rust. No, that's rusties. That's from rust buster. Rust buster. Who's rusties from? Oh, cars. That that's a rusties. National from. Lampoon's Vacation. <laughs> rust. Not rusty. Whatever. All right, that should clean those up a little bit. We can get a little. Uh, let them sit for a little bit, and then we'll get a. Uh, wheel after them. Alright, what are we going to do about the bent metal? Well, I don't think it's supposed to be that way. I don't think so either. Well, I don't have an anvil. So, you got a plan? I like that crease right there, but I can't tell what's doing better. You bending it with your fingers or hitting it with a hammer? Yeah, no, me neither. And the hammer doesn't appear to be doing much good. I mean, I guess we will see. 
I mean, it kind of is what it is, you know? Yeah. You're going to have to order a new one or... I don't know. I think this will work. It should probably be okay. That crease right there kind of bothers me, right? Yep. There. Me too. But we'll see what happens. Okay, what now? Um, I don't know. I think... No, nope, also short. What about if I... And you mm, might know. I'm what thinking no. You know, I guess I have to take that off. I really don't want to take this off because... What does that look like underneath there? Oh, look at that. It kind of looks like that right there. It does. Looks a lot like that right there. So you got one of those there. Yeah. That's, that's what these shims right here are for. Yeah, it's a valve reed or something. I'm bouncing around so much I'm going to make people sick. Okay. So... That goes there. Um, so according to this, uh, there should be a gasket on top of that. I'm assuming that's what this blue thing is. Mm. I hope so. It's the only one we got. It's the only thing we have. If not, going to be ordering something else. So then this piece is going to go on, like so, a certain way. We're going to drop one of these in here. And then I'm going to take this and put that on there. And then the top piece comes down opposite of this. So. Really, this will be over here. Right. But the problem with that is, it has to sit in inside there. That hole right there. You are correct. Alright, so what are we doing? Trying to get all the little rust spots off? Yeah. A little pitted. Hmm. Get a little of that rust buster oil over there in the dish. Not a whole lot in there. Meh. I think it'll be okay. Okay, so in order to line all these pieces up, we've got to take off that piece right there. The problem with that is that you run the risk of breaking the uh, gasket that's on the other side. So, we've got to try to be careful about doing this. Did you just pop it? Yep. Easy. Did it break over there? Did it break right there? easy. That's interesting. I understand the problem now. What's that look like? It looks okay, I think. I think that'll work. Yep. I think that we're good. Okay. This, however, could stand to be cleaned up. Mm-hmm. You do know how it came off of there, right? Came off of where? <laughs> Alright, so... We're going to hit this with some steel wool. See if we can't knock down some of the crusties. I wonder why that side's so pitted. Gotta be warm. 
water. Could be. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, so if any of you know why this side is so pitted, pitted let us know. Because I don't understand why that is so pitted. Put it down in the comments, as they say. Alright. Was it filming? Oh. Stupid camera. Alright, so the current problem is we're going to put that flipped over onto that with that sandwiched in the middle. The problem is that that little metal piece, when we try to move it, is going to fall out before it can ever make it to its current or its proper home. So we're trying to work out how we're going to make that work. Maybe a drop of oil? I don't know. But. It's an interesting puzzle. Alright, so I think we're going to go with the drop of oil. So, let's do the drop of oil. Let me go get some. We'll just use other stuff. Hmm? Use the rust buster stuff. That'll work. All right. What is it? Instructions and then whatever it ain't gonna rust. So, combustible liquid, combustible liquid. Hmm. Well, all oil is combustible, isn't it? At some point, I do. If you leave your oily rags in a trash can, it's pretty combustible. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. Okay, now before I do this, I want to stick this one. I don't guess it really matters. But it does. As long as they're opposite. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one like so. Are you sure about that? I'm sure I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm just making sure it's going to line up right. Okay. Now I've got the lead in there. With my little oil droplets. Yeah, that ain't going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. Hey. <laughs> Oh, it's worth a shot. We need sticky oil. Let me go get some 3 one Ooh, I got a better idea. Hold on. Okay, so the general thinking is, go ahead and put it in, and put it in the right position, and then use the needle nose pliers to make sure that it's in the channel. So let's see if this is going to work. Yeah, it moved. That ain't even close to being lined up. What? Look at it. It's all like Kitty Wampus. Nobody even said anything. I know. And there it is. Is it in there? It's in there. How do you know? I don't. I'm just guessing. I think it's in there. Is it in there? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if it's in there. That can't be in there. It's too far to one side. I love those shadows. I know, right? Nobody can see anything. Look, it's all the way to the right. Alright, hold on a second. Alright, so you can see where the channel is right there in the edge. See there? The only question is, are you far enough left to right, or, you know, up and down, or whatever? Hell, I don't know. 
Looks right to me. I know how to do it. Hmm? I know how to do it. Oh. Put that on, put that plate on without the gasket in the center. And then just let it sit there? Yeah, so that you can get it lined up. Then take it off. Yeah, that ain't working either. Well, I don't know. I'm an idiot then. I finally got it there. Alright, so we got it there kind of how we said we were going to do it. It just took a while and so now we're going to put it all together and see if we can make this thing work. Don't move it. You moved it. What? I'm kidding. I didn't touch it. I'm kidding. Tell me. Doesn't matter, the whole damn thing's going to move right there. <laughs> Are you going to wire wheel these? I like how that moves. I don't either, but I don't know what we're going to do about it. It's kind of... Uh-oh. Are you getting the big wrenches out? Yep. Okay. Put that anywhere. Well, there's just so much room in there. Okay. I know, right? I'm nothing if I'm not disorganized. This is a practice video anyway because the audio probably doesn't even work and we're not even being filmed or probably. something. So we're doing all this for nothing, you know that. Huh. What size is this? Does anybody know? It ain't that size. Hang on, I got two over here. There you go. I got it. So that's something we should have done in the beginning? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Let's start all over. Let's be close enough. Do we have Allen wrenches? You know, you'd think I would have good training at holding this camera, the way Dad always had me hold the light whenever we were kids and we were right? working on stuff, you know? You're like, hey, hold that light right here. Okay. Oh, hey, look. Oh, the little puppies are coming out from... Hey, where's that light? <laughs> uh, yes, I snorted. <laughs> On. It push the, puts the washers on the boat. Okay. All right. Allen uh, wrench. Allen wrench. All right. Let me get the Allen wrench. All right. So, I can tighten those up. I hate these jackknife things. I know. Me too. I know what I'm getting at Harbor Freight next time. What? Those uh, T handle. Allen there you go. Now those should should those be torqued to a certain uh, probably.
Would you say 20 foot pounds? Or? Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, that would be a bad uh, advice. I have no clue what they should be talking about. But I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? I'm going to turn him down to uh, redneck spec. Redneck spec. There you go. Works for me. Wait. What exactly is redneck spec? I'll show you when I get there. Oh, okay. Is that a uh, scientific spec? Or yeah. Just ask me. Is that it? That's it. Alright, well there you go. Okay. Alright, so... <clears throat> now... We probably ought to put the uh, oil the crankcase back together, or whatever you want to call that. It's cranking around in there. I assume it's a crankcase. Move it back that way a little bit. We got no light. It looks like a big dark hole. Okay, still looks like a big dark hole. But that's okay. We're going to put something on yeah. it anyway. So, uh, we'll need more. I'm thinking at least one. <laughs> oh, we dropped that one, didn't we? Here, hold the I, camera. I thought I got it. I'll get it. Okay, panic set in because we lost the screw, but we found it. So, really, you're trying to get that cleaner? A little schmutz right there. Mm hmm. Here, let me get up by your ear so I can see something. The hole there somewhere. Well, if you oh, never mind. Don't you have a screwdriver that'll help with that? Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> you did better when you couldn't see him. I know. I'm going to shop right down this room. Hey, you're hitting the screw. Yeah, I kind of screw this in straight. You know. But you're like, you're hitting the camera. Oh, well, that was a fail. What in the world? Yeah, it's not going in or something. It's going in now? It's going in, but. It doesn't seem like it wants to. There it goes. Okay. 
Good. I would call that good. Don't we have to hook this back up at some point? Nah. Okay, just check. Oh, all right, I don't mind about it. Just muscle that in there, will you? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Cross thread, is it? Does it feel like it's cross threaded? No. Nope. But it's not cross threaded. Is it on there? I think it's on there. Did you get it on there? Oh. Truck that down to about right. Should we mm. go and put oil in it? Alright, what's next? We got a bunch of screws over there. What do those go to? Those are extra. Oh, okay. Well, good. Oh, visitor. Hmm? Oh, visitor. Right there. Right there. Oh. oh. You're talking about that guy there? Was that him? Oh, Lord, you need glasses worse than that. Boy, no joke. <laughs> there he is. Look at that. And I'm blind. Okay. Do right. we want to use a funnel for this or do we want to? No, we want to use a funnel, absolutely. There you go, fun. I know, right? Okay, we need to fill it up to about halfway up that red dot. Maybe up a little more. Who told you that? Some video I saw. Oh, okay. It wasn't our video, was it? No. I'm glad, you, did. I'm glad you didn't take advice from us. I was going to say, those people seemed like they knew what they were talking about. I like that funnel. Where'd you get the funnel? I'm afraid I do believe. 79 cents on sale. Really? For one funnel? No, you got four. Wow. There you go. Maybe a hair more. Boy, this thing doesn't take much oil, does it? Okay. So you're a little over halfway. That's where you wanted to be. Yeah, I just want to make sure it's not just settling there. I can't see it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think All right. it there. Everybody agree? All right, good. All right, so now we put the oil fill cap back on. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna put a fan back on, don't we? Yes, we do. We're gonna clean that up. Don't we have some steel wool or something? We can. There we go. Excuse me. Let's try to line this up correctly this time. Yeah. I don't know, it's a little wallered out, so I don't know how well it's gonna work, but maybe when you get the clip on it.
a little wobbly, but I think it'll be okay. Oh yeah, it'll be fine. Alright. Should we turn this thing on and see if it'll work? I don't think we need the shroud on for that. I suppose we can. It's going to be interesting to see if... Is the switch off? Do we even know if the switch is off? We got a leak right over here somewhere. Yeah, that's hot. Turn around. Huh? Turn it around. How hot is it? It's pretty hot. Can't turn around with it plugged in, can you? A little more. That's not where the crease was. Yeah. It's it's definitely right in here is where it's uh I can feel it leaking. Right. Okay, here's our problem. The problem is that we can't get above 80 psi and it It'll go up to 80 and then it just keeps running, but it doesn't go any higher than that and it doesn't automatically shut off. It does hold pressure at 80 though, so that's a good thing. So what we, what we think is the problem is the gaskets that we had that we put back on there may have not been the best and one of them was bent. So it's probably leaking and it just can't get up to pressure. So we bought a gasket kit. So we're going to put this gasket kit on. You've already seen us take this thing apart and put it back together. We're going to put the new gaskets on it, and then we're going to see if this thing will work. So, 80. There you go. That's the highest we were able to get. Okay, so we got the gaskets in it. We've got the cover back on the top. So now we're going to turn this thing on, and let's see what happens. So now, let's see, if I let air out, will it automatically kick in? Yeah. Works perfect. Alright. The only thing I noticed was that because of the way that the fan was, the fan is a little bit loose. So I got to figure out some way of tightening up the fan, but it does blow okay. I can feel it blowing over here on the side. So everything looks like it's working all right. Not bad for our first video. We got this one fixed. So this should give us some use for a long time. If you like what you see, please like comment and subscribe if you have any any ideas on how to fix that fan let me know because i really kind of want to tackle that next and that's it for this one
I will see you in the next video.